Hey guys, welcome to my 25 week update. 15 more weeks to go until baby and time is just flying by. Um, I, have, I have Felix here with me, he's keeping me company. <laughs> so this week baby is the size of a baseball glove, which is pretty easy to picture. Um, although I think, don't baseball gloves come in different sizes, so I'm not quite sure about that. Baby is also the size of a rutabaga, which I don't know what a rutabaga is, but he is the size of that. And he's also the size of a prairie dog, which I think there's like a funny video of like prairie dogs going around where they're like talking but put somebody like dubbed it over and put yelling instead of it I don't know but anyway yeah baby is the size of that not much new going on with baby this week the biggest thing with baby is that he has hair and his hair has color to it now so his hair if it's anything like Grayson's he'll come out with dark hair like Grayson did Grayson's hair lightened up and it became blonde um, but now it's starting to get dark again now that he's two so um, we'll see what this baby is like. I totally thought Grayson was going to come out with blonde hair. So we'll see if this baby does. I don't know. Baby's also starting to practice breathing. The lungs are developing, getting ready to take in oxygen once he is born. This week I am peeing a lot more. I'm drinking a lot more because I'm always thirsty. Um, I'm pretty hungry, still craving a ton of sweets. If I could have ice cream every day, I would. Um, I'm trying to eat a little healthier and having more salads here and there, but it really isn't doing the trick. I just want like carbs and bread and sweets. <laughs> I feel like this week my belly has gotten huge. I don't know why, but it just seems like this week, um, like over the past like weekend, my belly has just grown huge and it's like I have to support my belly when I'm laying on my side like I'm gonna have to start using my pregnancy pillow and like if I'm on my back it's hard to like get up like I feel like I'm a turtle and I can't get off my back it's getting harder for me to like bend down I don't want to pick up Grayson as much so I just feel like I'm getting bigger the heartburn has calmed down this week I haven't had to have Tums in a long time which is Weird because you think that as baby gets bigger the heartburn would get worse but this week it's actually been great um, the hardest thing this week has been the pregnancy insomnia I just cannot sleep I wake up in the middle of the night almost every night because usually I have to pee or some noise wakes me up and then I just cannot go to sleep the other night I woke up at 4 30 in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep and I had to stay up like the whole time and of course I have a toddler who wakes up at like 7 so I can't really sleep in and try to catch up on sleep I have to keep up with him so it's been really difficult I've been really tired lately just because of the sleep I just can't fall asleep sometimes I have trouble falling asleep like initially falling asleep but most times I can fall asleep pretty easily it's just when I wake up in the middle of the night, jeez. This week I've also started to experience Charlie horses, which I did get those later on in pregnancy, in my first pregnancy as well, um, where it's just all, usually it's just when I'm laying in bed or I'll wake up from being asleep and I'll start to feel like my back leg calves start to cramp up. And so the best thing to do for those is to flex your foot, even though it doesn't feel the greatest, it is the best. And if that doesn't work, to stand up and put, like, stand up and, like, put your foot down straight. And that usually helps as well. So, thankfully, I've been able to, like, stop it before it gets, like, really, really bad. But I have been experiencing those a lot more. I've been a lot more stressed lately. And I just, like, if something is on my mind and I'm stressed about it, I just can't let it go. I just focus on that thing and it's just like taking over my mind and so that's been really hard to deal with because I just need to let things go that are out of my control but I just can't seem to do that <laughs> and I don't know if that's pregnancy related or just my personality but it's just gotten really bad lately. I was able to find a couple maternity shirts. Target brought out some newer um, summer outfits so I was able to get some of those and then also I went on to um, Old Navy online and I was able to get some of their clothes so that was nice. I will have a few outfits for summer. Not much but 
hey what can you do I am starting to run out of clothes like regular shirts that fit me I think I said that last pregnancy update as well but my belly is just getting so big that um, it's just all these regular fitting shirts are just starting to not cut it anymore which is kind of scary so let me show you my belly shot okay so here is my belly so I am wearing another loose fitting shirt but here it is 25 weeks my belly button is basically become flat now um, you probably can't see it but it is flat so last time my belly got so big that um, it became an Audi so we'll see if that happens again this pregnancy um, last time I weighed myself which was a while ago I need to do a new um, weigh-in but last time I believe I had gained 12 pounds so not too bad um, right on track I think I'm not too worried about weight gain or anything like that my next doctor's appointment will be at the end of this month we're in June now and we'll be doing my gestational diabetes test so hopefully I pass that because I'm loving my sweets and I don't want to have to watch my sugar intake so pray for me on that I feel like my acne has really cleared up lately um, my face has been looking a lot better a lot of people are still saying that my belly still looks really small for how far along I am and I agree with them I think my belly is smaller compared to last pregnancy but I don't know maybe that's just how baby is laying or something I'm not quite sure baby is I think still a pretty lazy baby I don't feel him that much I do feel him more and more as the weeks go by but there are still like chunks of time throughout the day where I just don't feel him and I kind of forget that he's there which is kind of a bad thing to say. Yeah, I still feel him like kicking up high and I feel him down low like in my cervix area. I can feel him from the outside. I can see him from the outside. So he is definitely getting bigger. I actually am feeling him right now kick. <laughs> I don't know if it's because he hears me talking about him or if because I'm thinking about him. I don't know, but yes, I'm feeling him right now. <laughs> he is getting more forceful with his jabs. It's like more of my belly moves when he kicks. Um, something that I read which was interesting was that at this point baby knows which way is up and which way is down and so they use this sense of knowledge I guess to rotate themselves so that they start going head down for birth. I thought that was actually really interesting that they could have that sense already. We still have not come up with a name for baby. I'm hoping to come up with one soon just because it's stressing me out like everything else is stressing me out nowadays. But as of right now, we don't have a name for baby. <laughs> All of those names that I said in a earlier vlog, we kind of like don't like any of them. So I'm not quite sure what name we're going to go with, but um, hopefully we figure it out soon. I don't think I will announce his name until he's born anyway, just because we might change our minds. So um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really think of anything else that's new, so thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!